All right, guys, let's make some incredibly fudgy brownies. You're gonna start off with just a large mixing bowl, and all you're gonna do is go ahead and pour in that pre-mixed ingredients. Now, we're not gonna follow the instructions actually on the back of the package. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place it all with just this, sweetened condensed milk. Now, with this, we're gonna add it right in the whole can. Now, this is gonna replace all of your water, all of your oil, or any of the other ingredients. The only thing that we have to add after we add all this two eggs. No shell. Once we got it looking like this, all you're gonna do is give it a good mix. Once you have it all mixed, you're gonna get your grease pan ready. All you're gonna do is take a nine by nine pan and put a little bit of butter in it. Now that you have your pan all buttered, you're gonna go ahead and just put in all of your mix. Once you have your pan all ready done, just follow the instructions on the back of the package. For me, that's gonna be 325, about 43 minutes, and we're gonna see the fudgiest brownies in just a second. And just like that, it's done. Time for a bite. It is so gooey. This is the way to make your brownies. Chef's kiss. Let's turn all of this into the most amazing dessert dip. Start with one block of Philadelphia cream cheese. And here, you're gonna add one whole cup of creamy peanut butter, one cup of powdered sugar. And even though it looks full, we're not done. We're gonna add one whole tub of Cool Whip. And once you have a big old pot like this, you're gonna just add just a little bit of vanilla extract, half a tablespoon. And from here, get on mixing. Once you have it all mixed, grab some, put it in your favorite bowl, and then serve with your favorite crackers. Oh, and don't forget the toppings. Bon appetit. All right, guys, so we are gonna start off with one mini seedless watermelon. Now, look how cool this is. You can grab your large kitchen knife, and you're just gonna go ahead and make this into wedges. All right, so now that we have our gorgeous orange watermelon slices, put on our cookie sheet. We're gonna throw this entire thing into the freezer. All right, so now that we actually have put these into the freezer for about two hours, you can see they're frozen solid. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just grab our zester and our watermelon in hand. We're gonna just go ahead and place our zester right down the middle and we're just gonna start shaving. You can see it's already going, but you're gonna get this fine, wonderful watermelon snow. All right. So two little slices gave us all this watermelon ice and the best way to top it off is actually gonna be with some sweetened condensed milk. And then I like to top it off usually just for a little bit of color and a little bit of crunch with just some pistachios. Again, look at how wonderful that looks guys. And just look at how amazing that bite looks. And honestly, enjoy it before it melts.